I was playing basketball and the basketball coach said, go out for the track team so you can stay in shape. So it was really only for me to stay in shape. It wasn't for me to advance. Um, and then I got out there, I actually liked it. I liked running, I liked the sport. So I didn't go back to basketball. <laughs> The number one factor I would say was um, the weight room, building my strength. Because when I was running 11 ones, I was really skinny. You know, I had muscle, but not powerful muscle. So the number one thing that helped me really develop into the world-class athlete that I am was lifting weights. It was a, it made a huge difference, huge. <laughs> Oh, a, a relationship with your coach is very critical because there has to be trust, you know, and, and when there's trust, then the athlete is willing to listen and willing to, to do the things that you ask them to do. If, if I don't believe in you, then I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to do what you want me to do. So a coach athlete relationship is crucial. It, it can make or break your career. Um, if you just don't have belief in them, you, then you don't believe in yourself. So if you believe in a coach so much, like I believed in John Smith so much that whatever he told me to do on the track, I did it. And then it paid off. So it's, it's an amazing relationship once you get it. You know, it's very unfortunate when great athletes don't have a good relationship with their coach so then you don't see them excel and do the things that you know how talented they are how they what they should be doing but when you're walking into a practice with low confidence in what your coach is about to give you then you're not going to accomplish the things that you really want you have to build the trust first um, so in the beginning as me as a coach you know I came from a coach that he, he didn't start with building the trust as much. He wanted to get right into running because <laughs> that's his job. But then as time went on, I trusted him even more and even more and even more. So as me as a coach, I do it a little different. I try to come in with you trusting me a little more. And then I try not to do technical stuff in the beginning. I try to do just getting you fit and then doing technical stuff. But as I gain your trust more, the more I'll break down your race and then the more you'll actually listen to me. So in my eyes, I start off with you tr getting your trust a little bit more before I break down your race. There's a lot of naturally talented athletes, but then I've seen a naturally naturally talented athlete get beat by someone less talented because just because you have the talent doesn't mean you don't still have to work you know so you definitely still have to work in order to reach the levels of your talent so um, I do believe there are a, a lot of people that are just God gifted just naturally talented just had two great parents that came together and you're able to do some amazing things but I've also seen people with more heart be talented people. But um, we've, all, we've all watched a, a cricket game or a soccer game or a basketball game and said, this team should win. And then the team that had no business winning ends up winning. Now, did they win because they were less talented? Some of them were less talented, but they had more heart than the other team. So we can all name a team that we've seen lose to some, a team that we never would have thought would have happened. But I always say heart trumps talent. Well, one thing that I've noticed is um, in the India country, there's not as many Olympic runners you know we have the young lady who made it to the olympic games and she's doing amazing things but she needs help you know and if she had more help that would even boost her confidence even more if she knew okay i have four other women that are running well and we can do some amazing things and we can have a relay um, confidence 
sometimes comes from your surroundings as well. And the USA team, I would say that a lot of the runners are so confident because they know they have an Allison. They knew they had a Carmelita. They knew they had all these other people that could, they could watch and see like, okay, I can do it because she did it. So um, for some of the Indian athletes, I would say the number one thing that needs to, to be brought in at this point is getting help, getting more people to compete, getting more people to love the sport. And many times that comes with bringing in a coach that the athletes will truly trust and respect. Um, someone that's possibly coached someone huge, you know? And so then if, you know, the runner gets someone that they know has already produced this in someone else, it makes them more confident. <laughs>
running that time, that blazing, blazing time. I love the fact that the guys behind him had on pink shoes. You know, I'm, I'm an advocate for breast cancer, so watching that was, was very, very exciting for me. Um, like I said, I believe records are to be broken. What's the point of having them? Um, you know, you, you always want to set a record to break it, as I'm sure you have records here that is certain numbers that you want to hit, is certain clicks that you want to hit. And so you're trying to achieve that all the time, which is the same way with athletes. We're trying to break records, though, mean it's going to happen, but definitely the, the effort's there. <laughs>